guys, Steve from SDR Skill School here. I'm with The Whistle in Rio de Janeiro at the Adidas HQ. I've got this sweet jacket on. I'm in my element. This wall here is full of World Cup memorabilia. So starting from the other end, we've got the uh, 1970 World Cup football and the history of the ball. So every four years, you've got the different World Cups. Uh, you've got the different boots over the generations. This is like an original pair of boots from 1954. Um, so the, the sole plate, as you can see, is a more, I guess, more like a shoe. That's why in England or around the world we say they're football boots rather than cleats because they used to be a boot shape. So uh, the Germany World Cup, if you see the panel in, it's like a different shape. Um, but it's a more grippy ball and it's a, a really nice football. The, the football freestylers like to use this type of ball, but it's a very rare ball to get hold of now. Um, but when we move on to the Jabulani, this ball, everyone hated this ball. So it went from a really nice ball to this ball. So now they sort of put a lot of effort into making the technology and the uh, technology, but they've got the, uh, you know, the materials right. Uh, the Brazuca is perfect. These are the federation jackets for all the teams that we're adding uh, at the World Cup. Um, so you've got Nigeria, Argentina, Japan, Spain, Mexico, Colombia, Germany, and Russia. They're lightweight jackets, amazing jackets. I'm gonna see if I can get one. Uh, if you see them in the store, get one, check it out. Bye. So if you wanna see great content over the World Cup with the whistle, don't forget to subscribe. And if you've seen my channel before or you haven't, make sure you subscribe to me. Check out this playlist for all your World Cup content. Hashtag TWN Cup.